Today we're going to talk about the fish tank volume to grow bed volume ratio. We're going to talk about sizing your grow bed to your fish tank, answering a question from a viewer, Home on the Range. Home on the Range asks a question. He says, I have a 250 gallon fish tank and I want to know if I want a deep water culture grow bed that's two foot deep with water, how big does a grow bed need to be? Today I'm going to talk about why it's important to have the right ratio and I'm also going to talk about my configuration and my experience and the performance of my aquaponic system so that if you are building your own system, then you'll be able to use this information to help you. Before we start the video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing, so more people can see my channel and have knowledge. Knowledge is what matters because that's what creates opportunity. You're watching Taddy Digest. I'm Tad. Let's get started by taking a look at my aquaponic system, and then I'm going to talk about the ideal ratio, what's recommended from most of the courses that I've taken and also the books that I've read. So let's take a walk. This is my fish tank, and it is 400 gallons, right? This is my grow bed. It's eight foot wide, and it's 34 foot long. And in that grow bed, there is 2,000 gallons of water. So fish tank to grow bed, we have more than a three to one ratio. And that's definitely not what is recommended. What's recommended is a one to one. So how has my system performed? absolutely flawlessly in my opinion i've been able to grow flowering plants like cannabis i've grown more than a hundred in here and i haven't added fertilizer it's been really nice this is jalapenos a banana tree and some basil some rosemary let's talk about the ideal so the ideal ratio was one to one right so if you have a 250 gallon tank then that means you'll have a 250 gallon grow bed size, which if you were to do the math, it'd be like four foot by four foot by two foot. But you don't have to do that. You can actually do a two to one or a three to one or a four to one or a five to one. Most of the books that I've read and the courses I've taken, it says do not go over three to one. But with deep water culture, I think we have this added buffer to help with the fish and whenever they say well the books that i read say you can do a two to one or a three to one what they want you to think about is the fish stocking density right my fish stocking density is around one pound of fish per 20 to 30 gallons of water now recommended fish stocking densities is around one pound of fish per five to seven gallons of water so there's three things you need to think about when you're sizing your system. Am I gonna have enough balanced nutrients throughout my whole system for the plants and the bacteria? Am I gonna compromise my fish's health if I wanna do a more than three to one ratio and I choose to heavily stock my fish tank? And then water quality. Do I have enough dissolved oxygen? Do I have enough air stones? Do I have enough volume of water passing through my system? My water volume changes every hour. So I'm running my whole entire volume of water through that pump every hour, every two hours. And that is something that I think is a big factor in keeping water quality nice and clean because you can actually see down to the bottom of my fish tank. Now check this out. I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna feed my fish. Feeding your fish matters. So I'm giving you all this information because I don't necessarily think the one-to-one -one is what you have to go by. Home on the range, I think you could do a eight foot by 12 foot or 16 foot. I think you could do a four foot by 20 foot and get away with it and be just fine. But I have to give you the ideal just because. Check out those fish. See how clear that water is? You can pretty much see to the bottom. That's how the aquaponic system should be. So this is a video on recommended and a video on my aquaponic system. And I've had great performance. I told you some things that you need to think about. You do not have to overstock your fish tank. 
just after you finish cycling and you put your fish in there, try type of system I've got. Try the ratio that I have and see if it works for you. I guarantee you'll be able to uh, grow all your plants and not have any issues, but some flowering plants, you may need to have more fish in there, but I don't think so. I think one to one is just a recommendation based off of the problems that can happen, but I'm using deep water culture. So again, I've got all that water volume and that's a nice buffer so that I don't stress out my fish. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, questions, drop those down below. I'm in my aquaponic system every day just doing some maintenance, feeding my fish. So perfect question, perfect timing. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Tad reminding you, do not forget to water your plants.